Hey everybody, Leafbeat here. Huh, I wonder if the title is lying. Well, it doesn't really lie. You might think it is a lie, but it is true. Every sense of the word. Sixth Sense is coming to the TCG in the limited form. For people who don't believe me, go to the forbidden limited list on, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh card side where I'll even, I'll even link it for you guys as I always seem to do with these things. And of course, you know, Konami's posted this news on their Facebook, their strategy sign, stuff like that. So, you know, I'll link all that stuff in the description as well. But yeah, Sixth Sense, a card that was in the OCG for a long, long time, and we never got it. Yeah, we're getting it now in the legendary collection for Joey's World. Now, What's the big deal about that, you might, you might ask, for people who don't even know what the card is? Well, I'm gonna read it off to you guys. And, yeah, here we go. So it's a normal trap card, simple enough. And here's the effect. Choose two numbers from one to six, then roll a six-sided die. If you roll either of those numbers, draw that number of cards. Otherwise, send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the die result. So basically, you roll a die, call two numbers. You get it right, you draw cards. If you get it wrong, you mill based on what was rolled. So, yeah, five or six, you're probably going to be doing that right off the jump, especially depending on the deck you're playing. If you're playing like Light Swarms, because, you know, they like to mill, you declare five and six, because either way, you're going to go plus in some way. Because, you know, if you call five or six, you're going to draw that many cards. You dig that deep into your deck. So you can pretty much draw a lot of cards and draw into what you need and stuff like that. Or if you happen to get it wrong and it's like one to four, you mill that many cards. Obviously, milling one isn't enough, but you you never know. Draw milling four is crazy enough in itself. I mean, you know, lights want to like use wolf, necrogarna, stuff like that. That don't mind when they're milled off because you know they have effects to activate in the grave. Or wolf being milled off from the deck and stuff like that and then necrogarna you just banish it to negate an opponent's attack it's pretty crazy and yeah we're 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 getting this card in legendary collection for joey's world which you know some people who do do know about this card are pretty upset about it and you know i could definitely understand it as well and i'm certainly upset about it as well but at the same time I mean, as much as as much hate I'm gonna get in the comments for it, I'm interested to see what happens. Even if it's a very short time, which I'm really hoping, I'm hoping it doesn't stay at one for formats to come. You know what I mean? Because if it does, then it's just gonna be like, well, you better get used to it because you're gonna be seeing it in a lot of decks. Dragon Wars, yeah, they have a lot of draw cards already. They got the. Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, Super Mario RPG. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I had to do that. Every time I think of the Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, I think of Super Mario RPG. Yeah, just because the sword and seven stars. Yeah. Whatever. They got that. They have cards of consonants. They have like Ravine to dig through their deck. They have card troopers to draw a card and mill cards. So it's like. You add another card that can let you draw and mill cards, potentially, one or the other, is pretty crazy. And then for Prophecy, you know, drawing a bunch of cards is nice, but hey, if you're playing like the Reaper of Prophecy build and you mill off a bunch of spell books, that's not that bad because, you know, the Reaper build likes to have a lot of spell books in the graveyard, so when you use Full of Prophecy's effect to get Reaper out of the deck, you'll have enough to activate all of his effects which is potentially what you want. Now, yeah, it's going to be interesting, definitely. Um, it's definitely a really, really powerful card. And I guess the funny thing is, you know, th the way that Konami kind of describes this or whatever, I mean, you know, you know how Joey Wheeler in the original Yu-Gi-Oh series, he, a lot of his cards have to do with rolling a die or flipping coins or stuff like that. Well, he never really used this card. But, you know, Konami's like, well, it, Joey never really used it on TV or anything like that. But it's just so much like Joey that, you know, we have to put it in here. And then, you know, you just they, they say, 
One roll of the die could put every card you need to win straight into your hand just as easily as it could put your last shot at victory right into the graveyard. It's so powerful win or lose that for safety's sake we're limiting it a week before it comes out and it's coming out on the 11th of October so yeah it's coming out very soon. So next week actually at the time of this video being recorded it's going to be up tomorrow or whatever but yeah simply put yeah this is going to be a card that either way we're going to be dealing with it for a while and you know a lot of people are going to be play testing with this card and stuff like that because you know it's going to be legal for us for the first time in the TCG because Japan's had it for a long time I think it got emergency banned over there so yeah what does that say about this card it was way too good and we'll have to see just how sacky the card's going to be for the game so yeah as strange as it is that I'm interested to see how things turn out I do think it's a bad idea but we'll have to see what happens because we we do have a different list from the OCG so I don't know what I, I don't know it's just I, it does not justify it. it's it's power definitely it does not justify its power but it's something that you got if you're gonna plan on staying in the game you definitely got to prepare for this card or try it out yourself in various decks to see where it's most effective and stuff like that and obviously you can recycle it in some ways like Mask of Darkness yeah Mask of Darkness I'd mention other cards but I think Mask of Darkness is the only one I'll talk about even though I talked about a couple other cards in the comments of some other videos yeah actually you know what I'm gonna throw in one more card for you guys that you can use to get it back it's because I own this one from a long time ago. It's called Trap Reclamation. Now, that's a that's a card from Tactical Evolution, and I have it right here even, but um, it says discard one card and chain this card to a trap card you activated. Whenever that trap card is sent to the graveyard, return it to its owner's hand. So it's a normal trap that you can chain it to another trap that you play. Now, obviously in certain decks, discarding a card isn't bad either. You can discard whatever you didn't want and then add the trap back to your hand. But yeah, the Mask of Darkness and Trap Reclamation are two cards that let you get a trap back from the grave to your hand. Mask of Darkness being a flip effect monster and then Trap Reclamation requiring you to discard a card and chain it directly to that same trap that you're activating and that would go to the grave. Now obviously if Macrocosmos is out, you couldn't use this really because, well, you wouldn't be able to get it back to your hand if it doesn't go to the grave. But yeah, this is crazy really. So let me know what you guys think about this stuff and I'll talk to you guys later. Yikes.